From the day Pulp Fiction hit the big screen, Quentin Tarantino films became appointment viewing. He's polarizing, understandably so, but his impact on the world of film over the last 30 years is undeniable. In 2009, he made himself a war film in Inglorious Bastards. Of course, it's not like many of the war films that came before it, but it's also indebted to them. Here are 20 facts about Inglorious Bastards. This may just be our masterpiece. The Inglorious Beasteds, with all the proper spelling, is a 1978 Italian war movie starring, among others, Bo Svensson and Fred Williamson. Tarantino is presumably a fan. He took the title and repurposed it for his own war movie. Tarantino began working on Inglorious Bastards all the way back in 1998. However, quickly he noticed that the film was getting bigger and more ambitious. This led to Tarantino taking a break to work on the two Kill Bill movies. He returned to the story after finishing Death Proof. While he was writing the film, Tarantino started imagining Pitt in the lead role of Aldo Rain. When he finished, he thought Pitt would be perfect for it, so he called Pitt's agent. Pitt, of course, took the role. Originally, Tarantino was considering Leonardo DiCaprio to play Hans Lander, the primary antagonist. Then, he realized he needed a native German speaker in the role. Tarantino ended up with Christoph Waltz, an Austrian actor unknown in the United States, as Lander. Waltz and DiCaprio would later both be in Tarantino's Django Unchained. Tarantino wanted Adam Sandler to play Donnie Donowitz, a role more violent than what he usually does. Sandler had a conflict with his movie, Funny People, so instead Tarantino's friend, horror director Eli Roth, took the role. Meanwhile, Simon Pegg could have played Archie Hycox, but was making, Adventures of Tintin. Michael Fassbender ended up in the role. Rod Taylor had all but retired from acting when Tarantino asked him to play Winston Churchill in, Inglorious Bastards. Taylor got really into studying Churchill for his role, which would be his final acting appearance before his death in 2015. Myers has a fairly small role in the film, but he actively sought out a chance to be in Inglorious Bastards. For one, he's a Tarantino fan. Secondly, his parents had been in the British Armed Forces.